Who's going to stop the chop? The eighth ranked Knowles set to kick off their season this Sunday against number five LSU in a much anticipated top 10 tussle. High profile measuring stick right out of the gate for a program that has very much returned to prominence. Leading the charge on the defensive side of the ball. There you see him preseason All-American Jared Verse. The Florida State D lineman racking up nine sacks and 48 tackles a year ago, opening plenty of eyes at the next level, including our draft expert Ryan Wilson currently projects verse seventh overall in next year's draft. Still work to be done for this seminal, but the game breaker ready to get it going this Sunday night. We now have the pleasure of welcoming in the big fella Jared verse joining us here on CBS Sports HQ. Jared, it is a pleasure to spend some time here on a game week. Before we dive in, you're with us on behalf of Powerade today. Tell us what you have going with them. Uh, man, you know, first off, I want to thank Powerade for having me be a part of this. But, you know, I'm teaming up with them for the fall 2023 season. And we had a commercial, you know, it's for the uh, It Takes More campaign. And it's just, you know, amazing to be a part of Powerade, be a part of such a big organization, be able to show my story, which they perfectly craft in the commercial. As you can see, it shows us breaking the rock. You know, that's a big tradition here at Florida State. But the thing I love the most about it is just how much work it shows throughout all of our, you know, journeys. Mine, you know, all the other athletes part of this. It shows our journeys of how much we had to work just to get here, just to do our traditions that our schools hold and dear and value so much in their lives. Uh, it's part of the game that makes it so sweet, these traditions. And as we saw it and as you said it, the honor of breaking the rock means it's time for some football. Uh, Preseason All-American, mock drafts. It's all an indication of what you've already accomplished and the expectation that now lies out in front of you. But the rock is broken. It's time to put it on tape. What are you feeling right now that it's officially game week? It's, it's football season. <laughs> it's not, but ecstatic. I'm excited to be out there. I'm excited to play with my guys. You know, practicing against them, hitting heads is fun. But going up against a whole other team, somebody that put in just as much work and see who put in the most work, who crafted the most, who has the ability to win. That's just the most exciting part about playing football. Well, we'll get to that opponent in, in just a moment here. But last year was really the reintroduction of this historic program after about a half decade worth of struggles. Ten wins for the first time in a long time. What does it mean to be a part of that return to prominence? And can you share some of the things that are on that list of team goals this year? You know, it means a lot to Florida State. Florida State is, I feel, and I feel a lot of people feel one of the football programs that deserves to be at the top of the pinnacle of college football. But obviously, in the past couple of years, we haven't been to the standard that we should be at. But Coach Novell has made sure to bring in guys like me, Braden Fitz, Fabian Lovett, you know, Jordan Travis, along with the guys he's recruited and everybody like that to come help build us back to promise where we have to be. But the biggest thing is just we're excited to be out there, you know. We all want to throw how much work we put in, how much Florida State's done to be at the top and show that we belong at the top. And we know there's some positive visualization being done by the whole team right now. Can you take me to your personal list of goals this year? Where do you picture yourself as you project it over this season? You know, I feel like I'm, a, I'm pretty good. A lot of people have me projected as number one defensive player, number one edge, number one this, number one that. But some people, you know, have me projected farther beyond, like it's threes or fours and stuff like that. And for me, that's not good enough. I'm ne I've never wanted to prove myself right. I want to prove everybody else wrong. I want to show everybody I belong at the top and I'm going to work my hardest to be at the top. So I've just been trying to you know, put myself higher up, higher, 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 and keep climbing. Well, I could sense the excitement coming off of you right now. Every game is big <laughs> when you got that Florida State uniform on, but certain ones, let's say, highlighted a little brighter than others. LSU out of the <laughs> gate really rings a bell for me here. I I'm sure they've had this one in mind in that LSU camp for some time here after that block PAT last year decided that game. How do you stay assertive and maintain an edge against a team you know has revenge on their mind? You know, they can have revenge. They're a great team. Obviously, there's somebody that everybody in the country has to look out for. Their quarterback, very quick, very good thrower. Their offensive line is very strong, very powerful. They got great defense. You know, they got great linebackers and everything. But our thing is no one can beat us if we're at our best. You know, last year, it was a great game. Everyone had fun. Everyone was hyped up, excited. But watching back at the game, I'm like, we should have done this better. We should have done that better. And this year, we're going to do that better. We're going to do everything we can to show that we're the best and show what we put in our work for. Sharpening the tools and maybe end up at the top when it's all said and done. We're so thankful that ball is back and even more thankful to watch players like yourself do what you do. But, you know, this is a game that asks a lot from you, and sometimes nothing's guaranteed in return. What is it about the game that fuels you on the days when the body hurts or the film is bad? It's easy when it's easy. What keeps you going when it gets hard? My thing is I've always wanted to be the best. 
You know, I didn't have to get all the awards. I don't need to be a part of any Heisman watch list. I don't need to be a part of any watch list, period. I don't need to be an All-American. I want to be my best. I want to be able, at the end of my football career, to say, all right, that was the best. Like, that was the best I could have given. That was the absolute greatest I had in me. I gave everything I had. You know, the hot summer days, it get hot down here in Florida. It's hot. <laughs> it's Florida. <laughs> so I'm down here in Florida, and I'm trying my hardest. I'm, like, sweating and dripping. Everyone's tired, and I'm, I'm yelling and laughing because I'm a loud vocal guy. I'm like, we got to do this. Like, we want to be the best. Let's be the best. It's what it takes because a lot of people aren't doing that stuff. A lot of people are folding and giving up. But we, we me, the whole team, the whole Florida State culture is not about that. We're going to give everything we have. We're going to put in the work necessary to get it. Oh, we're going to take it. You have already laid quite the foundation a season ago, and we're excited to see you do your thing this year. You know, that legacy you talk about there, we're lucky enough here at CBS Sports. We got uh, some, some seminal greats on our roster as well. Danny Cannell, Bryant McFadden, they're always tapped into you guys. I gave my guy BMAC a call this morning to let him know you were coming on the show. First thing he says to me is, that, that man can talk some trash right there. Be careful. So he, do, <laughs> he does want to know, top three trash talkers on the team, and you can include yourself. Ooh, taking away me, taking away me. Jeremiah Byers right off the bat. New offensive tackle, Jeremiah mm -hmm. Easley. I, I say, you take away me, he's right there. <laughs> Pat Payton, my fellow defensive end, he is right there. And I'm trying to think of somebody that, ooh, Winston, right? Winston definitely up there, but he like real subtle, real quiet with his trash talking. But I probably have to say, it's probably, it's probably Kalen Deloach. That third spot probably go to D-Lo. He just, he's not going to, like, talk trash, talk, but he's going to celebrate. He's going to be all animatronic, all, like, loud <laughs> about it. Nah, it's probably those three. <laughs> well, it sounds like a fun group. The fact that you went to the tackle first in Jeremiah, I, I got to follow up here. It sounds like there might be a story behind that one. Iron sharpens iron out of practice. You got anything from this summer you want to share? Oh, <laughs> it was one. So it started in spring. And they had a great spring. The offensive line had a great spring. I don't know what it was, but I just wasn't feeling like myself. Like I wasn't having the production I usually like. So he, he, the one practice, he was like getting me. Like he kept getting me, kept getting me. And he's in my ear. He's like, yeah, you like that? Oh, what's this? Oh, you never get to my quarterback. I, went, I was like, all right. And the practice ended. The whole like next two, three days, I'm watching film on this guy. I'm watching <laughs> everything. I'm watching. Like, I'm overlooking. I'm like, oh, he does this. He's his tendencies. I came back that ne next practice. Mm, I'm on him. I'm trying to get him. Hey, like, I'm in his ear. I'm like, you ain't keeping me away from J-Trap. I'm like, how y'all going to protect him? I'm calling the whole old line now. I'm over on the offensive sideline in their faces and everything. But nah, me and him, we just have, we have great balance. He has days when he gets me. I have days when I get him. But it's definitely, like you said, iron sharpens iron. That, that guy is iron. I say that one. He, he put me work. It sounds like a great group, and Jared, we really do appreciate you taking the time here on HQ. We're looking forward to watching you ball out this season. Go put 15, 20 in in the league, and then you come sit next to me, man, because you got a way on tape as well. We appreciate you, as always, and best of luck this season. And thank you. Thank you for having me. It was a privilege. And here's a look at that schedule ahead. What an impressive man that is. Impressive on and off the field. As you can see, you know, we are ready for Sunday night under the lights. Top 10 matchup with LSU. Going to be a blast. And be sure to join us right here on HQ Postgame for full highlights and reaction after Florida State's opener with the Tigers.